know, I'm so excited to be here. I just want to um, forewarn the guys in the front. Um, I'm fat, and this belt came in one size only. I bought it anyhow, um, and it's kind of tight. <laughs> it's tight in a cool way, but it's kind of literally tight. So I just want to warn you that sitting in the front, you all um, cannot hold me responsible for any flickering or flying of the belt in your eyes. <laughs> your nuts, sir, are very exposed, so if you fly there, I apologize in advance. Stop staring at my breasts. I'm talking about my belt right now, so um, I just wanted to warn you all. So you're cool with that? Good, awesome. And I want to thank Kathy so much for uh, having me back. I've been going through a lot these days, you know, the best comedians and the most dramatic ones, and I swear my life is like a Mexican soap opera, gay pornish type of <laughs> life, and it's just very dramatic. And, uh, you know, so I appreciate her giving, giving the sister the hookup. You know, we've all got frozen underneath here. So anyhow, I just wanted to um, say I'm really excited to be here. Halloween is around the corner. How many, how many people are going to be dressing up in a couple days or tonight? Or yeah, you guys are freaking lame because <laughs> last year I like totally like, I was in my uniform and I was getting ready to go to work and freaking I'm walking down the street and everybody's like, oh my God, nice French whore made outfit. And I'm like, I'm going to work. I'm from France. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know, the people just mistake things all the time. And, you know, I'm thinking, like, what's up with this new trend that we've got going on in Hollywood where you've got, you know, all these white actresses and singers and things, you know, adopting all these little African babies. And I'm like, what? It's like a new, you know, crocheted hat that, like, is so cool. And they talk about it on Extra, and you totally should go out and go get one because it's the cool <laughs> thing to do. And I'm like, I've got three kids. They're black. They've got their shots. You don't know that. You know, they're good to go. You can have them for mm, 20 bucks. You know, I can pay for your lunch. I'm back. I'll pack up a lunch. It's I would totally love to get rid of them. But, you know, apparently they've got to be from Africa. And I'm like, okay, buy the country and take care of the people in their own habitat. But, you know, whatever. This is the way that they want to do it. It's the latest trend. But, you know, I was just thinking, I was watching TV the other day because Madonna was on Oprah talking about her new black baby and, oh, Oprah saving the world and freaking Madonna saving the world. And I'm like, you know, talk shows have just, you've got to have a lot in order to have a talk show. I want a talk show. You've got to have the spontaneity and you've got to have, ask the right questions. And, you know, it doesn't help, it doesn't hurt actually to be gay. You know, like look at Ellen and she's just, She's just such a great talk show host, and Rosie O'Donnell is, you know, she did such a great job, and now she's on The View. It's so great to have gay people on TV, and you know, you've got Oprah, and she's just so gay, and I just, you know, I want to be gay, too. I mean, I want to be a talk show host, but does that make me gay? Like, I don't know. I'm just still <laughs> contemplating on that. But, you know, I just think it's, it's, it's really cool because... These days, you know, you've got, like, Britney Spears, like, she's our idol for weight loss now. Did you see her on the cover of Us Weekly? It's like, Britney, she's lost 26 pounds in, in like, three weeks. How is she doing it? I'm like, her husband's a crack dealer. Are you kidding me? <laughs> she's got the supply of living at her house, freeloading off her every day. That's how she's getting it. With the thunder dick, apparently. Because this guy just, like, <laughs> Pete and Flavor Flav are just, like, they've read, they've read, they've read the same manual. I swear to God. Like, how to bag a bitch, you know? <laughs> they know how. Did you watch the season finale of Flavor of Love? Anybody? Anybody? You all are lame, all of you? Oh my God, well let me tell you about it, okay. So there's this one chick, her name's New York, you know, because he likes to name all his bitches from, you know, the, the locations or assets that they have. So New York and Delicious, she's the one with the shelf booty. I mean, literally, I mean, my ass is fat, but her butt goes like out around the corner through the bend and just, I mean, literally, you, you think I'm playing, but you see it, I'm like, if I were a guy, I'd fuck her. <laughs> but, you know, if I were a lesbian, it would just be wrong to want to fuck her because you need a dick to do that. I mean, she's got the ass. I'm sorry. I got you over here. <laughs> My man. I'm just thinking, you know, New York, she's just such an eccentric woman, and, you know, she's in love with this big little black man who's who can't even speak English well. He has no education and eight children, but he's getting pussy better than Bill Clinton and his 
office term. I just don't understand it. But you know, she, you know she, she was talking to his kids one day and telling them how she's the HBIC, which is the head bitch in charge, and to a six-year-old, and I'm like, this woman is a genius. And then she made the mistake, the tragic mistake, in like episode six of saying, those little bastards. And she was talking about his kids. She's like, no. She ruined her chance to get that ass. I just don't get it though, but you know, I digress on that. I want to tell you guys something really cool. I'm actually doing a lot of acting, and I'm really excited about being in the industry now, and I'm going to actually audition for the musical of the year. I don't know if you know this, but they're getting ready to have the Hustle and Flow musical on Broadway. Did you know that? <laughs> have you guys seen the movie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You guys are not that lame, okay? <laughs> so, Hustle and Fold the Musical is going to come out, and I'm actually going to be auditioning for um, horn number two. <laughs> and I'm really excited about it because you have to sing a musical piece, and I'm classically trained, so I said, okay, I'm going to audition. So, I wanted to try out my audition piece for you. Do you mind? Is that okay? Yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate the love and support. Talk to me after the show, okay? <laughs> so, this is what I'll do. Okay, and character. And, yes. This will be better. Do it the way I want to. Okay. <coughs> okay. Second dig really does work out your lips. <laughs> so, okay. Hi, my name's Tahira, and I'm here to audition for horn number two. Here I go. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Don't you know it's hard out here for a pimp when he's trying to get that money? For the rent, <laughs> for the Cadillac and gas money spent, <laughs> will cause a whole lot of bitches, bitches, whole lot of bitches, whole lot of show booty, snow money, shaking that ass, bitches, jumping shit. Thank you.